This is how we check a newborn's blood sugar, and it's a bit different to an adult. So we usually take the sample from the heel because newborns have tiny little veins and the heel has a really nice little pad of tissue with a really good blood supply. We would clean the skin, we would use a tiny lancet, and then we would gently squeeze out a drop of blood. That's it. It's really quick and simple. This is also how we do the newborn blood spot test to screen babies for various genetic disorders. Now for newborns, a normal blood sugar is usually above 2.6 millimoles per liter. So anything below that, especially in the first few hours, is considered low. For context, in adults, it should be over four millimoles per liter. But it's really common for babies to have low sugars right after birth, because up until that moment, mum's placenta is keeping their glucose perfectly stable. The second that they're born, they lose that supply and they have to switch to using their own stores. Now, some babies will take a little bit longer uh, to get the hang of that switch. And low blood sugar can be really scary. I've seen it with a baby with a blood sugar of one millimoles per litre. They can get floppy, they can get jittery, they can be cold, sleepy, and they may just not even be interested in feeding. Now, if the sugar is low, the first treatment is simple. We can give glucose gel into their mouth, either in, around the gums or in the cheeks, and that will usually resolve the problem. But if that is not enough, then we would usually move to intravenous glucose.